Okay, guys. So this is going to be something I'm not going to make too much of a habit of. Uh, my goal is not to be ruining the Dota 2 community. Uh, but I honestly, I was doing a couple replay analyses today, and I have about had it with the comments of BSJ, you don't know what it's like to play in my bracket. You're so up on your pedestal, you're, you know, high... Like, you know, you're all high and mighty in your 8K, 9K games, and I'm stuck in the trench dealing with my shit teammates. So, we're going to be playing this game from the mid lane, and we're going to be talking about core fundamentals that honestly just make the game really easy to win. So, I personally am going to talk about ways to solo carry the game, and I'm going to play a hero that I'm confident on, and I'm going to show you exactly how I intend to carry the game. So the keys to carrying the game single-handedly is out-pushing the opponent. If you have better lane-shoving prowess than your enemies, you will win most games. You'll win almost every game. And I can say with about 99.9% .9 certainty that based on how much better I am at pushing lanes than a 2.8k player, I will win this game unless my team decides to four-man down a lane and feed purposely over and over again. So with that in mind, what I'm telling you is that I'm going to focus sheerly on pushing lanes. I may fight every now and then, and any fight that I do take, I'll tell you why I do take it. I plan to be announcing exactly what I'm thinking during the game as much as humanly possible, and I'm mainly going to be talking about what to think about when it comes to pushing lanes. And when it comes to pushing lanes, there's three concepts I've talked about, maybe four, we'll see how long I list them off for that come down to how to solo carry a game. So if I tell you how to solo carry a game means that you're gonna push lanes effectively. That means first and foremost, your hero has to clear waves at a rapid enough speed. A lot of mid laners have some sort of nuke, some sort of wave clearing that's built in. But heroes that from the safe lane like Anti-Mage have to build a battle fury. But once your hero has taken into account that it can clear waves with some decent amount of prowess, of speed, the next step is to be survivable enough while doing so, meaning that it will not be easy to kill you. Maybe you would die to three or four heroes, maybe five heroes, maybe two heroes, but you will not die to anything less than that. Thus, that first survivability item, coupled with being able to clear waves faster, lets you aggressively push waves uh, more effectively, and thus pushing more waves, pushing them more aggressively, means that you'll do it simply better. At this point, you're probably starting to separate people in the game. The enemy team is responding to your movements. They're trying to stop you. They're trying to gank you. They're trying to take fights that are super awkward for them. So at that point, you have to punish them whenever they separate. So the first step, clear ways fast enough. Second step, do it survivably. Third step, kill people who stop you single-handedly. So we've itemized to be alive to that one person. Now we have to itemize to kill that one person. This should naturally result in a few free kills here and there, which should lead to either the entire opponent reacting to whatever you're doing or you just getting free objectives that cost you virtually no time and effort uh, and once you do that you build to go high ground you build to be the one that ends the game items such as satanic heart of tarasque a soul cuirass anything that helps you tank up do more damage and survivably hit the high ground buildings because that is what it takes to end the game so that is the natural step we will be taking we'll see how much we actually stomp the game i'm not really sure if we lose, man, will this be an awkward video. But hey, let's go ahead and take a step into it. I hope I don't have to do more than one game. We're going to be playing from the mid lane. I'll go ahead and first pick my hero. I'm thinking about right now exactly who I would like to play. Banana Slam Giant. Fine. I retract my statement, and I will tell you guys I will pick off lane or, or mid lane. For some reason, people believe that just because my support's just as terrible as the other hero, that I cannot win a game of Dota. So I'm willing to challenge that notion by chance, whatever game I get faster. Um, it'll be a slightly different approach, but I still will be looking to clear waves, both of which uh, will be impactful to learning the game. Uh, and we'll see which lane I actually get. So I won't be able to teach as much about the laning stage. I expect my support to not be all that great. But I will be emphasizing uh, killing all the range creeps as much as I can, pulling the big camp whenever I can, contesting the small camp pull whenever I can, and uh, going by those principles. Looking for a solo kill when I get six. All the stuff. 
So the emphasis is off lane, especially in lower brackets, is to get the enemy tower as soon as possible. So usually I'd like to itemize for lane sustain items that get me a lead, use those lane sustain items to boot the opponent out of lane, and then eventually get their tower. I'm either laning against a Void or a Sven. I assume it's a Sven mid, like Thompson style or some shit. Um, I'm looking at this game, and I say that uh, Vlad's is really good because I have a Jug. He makes use of that right-click a lot, but then it also gives me the sustain I'll need uh, to do my job independently. Out of all the team items, it's the best item for Mars, and then I have plenty of fucking damage on my team. Um, I may still buy a Deso for the sake of solo killing people, depending on how the game's going, but otherwise I'll just go blink BKB with uh, Mars. So. Do I catch the scent of Do I taunt? Rip. Buy myself a ward. Prepare for battle. Got the four position Luna. Assume she's gonna do a fantastic job. You Predict that win streak. Place. Hopefully I don't ruin I question marks four lost, game win streak. <laughs> it is in the bag. I feel like my chair's a tad high. <laughs> <laughs> I'm pretty sure this guy's in third position based on those items. Some sick fucking items here. I've been told that for the full experience I should play with a dog ass support, so that's what we're doing. That is a terrible item guide. That's way better. Could have bought a fairy fire against Witch Doctor, it was kind of busy talking. It's kind of a nice item to have against Witch Doctor, but it's okay. Fairy fire is nice because I'm maledict. Oh, yes, hero icons. I think she fixed that. And maybe I'll play with it. The battle begins. Gods and men alike. Oh, he doesn't have quick attack on. Yikes. Wait, he does. A fucking attack hockey. Holy shit. Maybe I fucked it up. It's the blood okay, he used time walk, but I'm gonna drag the lane back towards near my tower because that's where we want it. Should be free CS. Now I can come up and contest his. Very nice. We draw aggro again. Repeat, rinse, and repeat. I'm a hero that contests range creeps very well, so I like to have the range creeps separated like this. First blood. I'm under attack. Last Easy of my in this. As long as my W is up for the range creep, we're making sure we posture so we're close enough to it. Doesn't go below half, so we drag the range or the wave back. People in this bracket really don't contest CS at all if you create pro properly to creep aggro. As you can see. Nope. Creep aggro back again. Luna's doing a swell fucking job. She's owning with those beams. Looks like Witch Doctor's pulling, so we just gotta make sure that doesn't go off. Uh, we'd actually have to miss two range to let that not go off, so whatever. Denied. Rip. Now Luna's probably holding his cock on the right, but that's okay. The dogs are on us. That's why you don't let them pull, but hey, you know, can't do anything about a four position. Should buy more tangos. You can pull large, it's good. See what he does. He's probably not gonna do it. 
I always get the wrench. Find myself more tangos. Oh, he's actually gonna maybe pull large. It's oh, my nope. right. That was too much ass. Your bottom tower is under attack. Nice, it beamed for the last, it's secure. Oh, the dual deny in this bracket. Holy shit. So I don't really expect to be out leveling them as an offlaner because my support's just not doing a good job. And that's fine. There's not much you can do about that. But I should be getting most CS. Notice how even though my support's not doing a good job, it's pretty reliable to get most CS. So he used a stun, so I'm going to run at him. Nothing you can do about it. I'm not missing any creeps either. Notice how he's forced to run away. Just right clicks for free. Now we don't miss any creeps. Void is forced to help us. He misses creeps. Very cool. Not ready. Which doctor has no regen? He went wand first. Haven't watched a single BSJ coaching session. on denies when the guy can't walk up because you know what's he gonna do about it Doesn't sound. make him not want to go for that range get the last hit now we get the deny run over and contest pull very standard stuff probably kill witch doctor here because i have boots he doesn't oh you're too early the wand caught me up there. Okay, well, you know, sometimes you fuck up. It's honestly not a big deal. Missed a kill, but we're still free farming. Gonna meet the creep wave over here, so it resets the lane. We probably missed a few creeps there, but our Luna got them instead. So what this does is effectively resets the lane equilibrium in our favor. Void gets a wave under tower, but the next wave is going to be asked for him because I'm going to deny at least two creeps. Luna's asking for our help, but I'm just going to be denying a full creep wave back here. Get that one cook off. Get that one. Check other lanes whenever we can. Game's pretty slow, so we have time. Luna's come over to share the XP with us because we're just all about sharing his carrying here. Tier 4, this is why we all hate you. Okay, good call out by middle. It's a mid spin, I believe. So we have a catapult of our own. So by doing what we did earlier, it sets us up for this double wave quite nicely. We also have this timing of phase boots. So Void's out leveling us because of our support. Denied. Hmm. My support is helping emotionally. I'm not ready. Your bottom tower is under attack. Middle is missing. Your bottom tower is under attack. Gonna buy ourselves another salve so we're against Witch Doctor. I see why mortals like this. I never left your daughter. Forces time walk before the tower comes up so we can get aggressive here. This sets up this aggression, which may lead to a kill if he walks up. He's a kill. That was all about that early aggression. We're not going to turn this into any tower pressure, so.
Uh, we're gonna go ahead and start building our Vlads. Gives ourselves some mana. Not really looking to rotate, we don't care. What do you know? This Luna has legit been about as useless as a four could possibly be, so I hope you guys are learning. It's gonna be a massacre. Come on, get up! So now we need to make sure we're a threat with our ults. He has mana for Chrono. I don't know why he wouldn't, because he just died. We do need to be very wary of any rotations, because he has Chrono. We both threaten each other, so we need to make ourselves a threat with our items, which is the mana. So we're going to fill ourselves up. Concerns. Just gonna back off after the creep wave. Thought I was gonna clip him with that ult. Didn't clip him. Just a misclick. It's a 90 second cooldown. Not a big deal. Since we forced or we took a fight that's bad for us, we now want to avoid them. So we take a quick push of the creep wave and then we pull. This is a very evasive move. Like, this is a don't fight me move. So we might even give them the pull camp. We just don't want to be landing. Okay, we give ourselves the sustain now. And go ahead and salve up. Because we have a Morbid Mask coming. Don't mind spending mana, because we have full mana. Luna is very supportive, very helpful, making sure she gets every single bit of XP she can underneath the tower. Make sure we're getting. Looks like they pulled, so we're just going to get as much farm as we can. Gonna try to loosen him up a little bit for the kill on him with the next ult. Uh, okay, so ult made seconds. Just important to gauge like what we need to kill him. We if we land ult spear, we'll kill him. Radiant structures are fortified. We don't need to force it though. We can just kinda posture. I do my just yep. wait for an opportunity where he's not paying attention. Every decision I make will be with the worst case scenario and nothing happens. So like if I were to have missed that, I would have just backed off again. mid, Luna's dying, Void's coming back top, he has Chrono and I don't, so I'm going to back off, and I'm going to pull again, Almost. if I can make it in time, I think I'm a bit late, yeah, I'll just try to for the exact reason that you're seeing here, Witch Doctor's going to look to threaten me, and I don't want to be a part of that, just going to back off, let him push out the lane. That's very naturally what the person that's stronger will do. If he doesn't do it, you're fine with that too. Looks like the lane's blocked. The creep's blocked, maybe? Sven's level 11, so we'll actually want to make our move on him next. Um, because he does die to our ult, and he's a hero that doesn't want us to be fucking with him. So we're going to naturally just gander on mid here. Oh, there's a support here. What is he doing? Oh, he's warding. Camp is not blocked. Zeus is also a nice hero to rotate to. Could just force some reactions. We're constantly watching the lane we lose, though. Or, we're leaving, though. Middle is missing. Just push it. Just gonna look for Sven. He's there somewhere. Don't push Process me. of elimination. Yep, here he is. Okay, cool. Simply based on I have a fighting mid, they don't. Very easy. 
decision. Oh, go mid there. Wasn't missing anything top. Dire structures are fortified. Hold by the Turn that into tower pressure. We don't have to get the tower, but we'll force them to react accordingly. Otherwise, in this case, we just TP top. It's a huge fucking wave that we never give up. No tower is worth missing nine creeps at 13 minutes into the game. Almost. Your bottom tower is under attack. We look at bottom. Okay. Jug seems to be doing just fine. Centaur is losing. Okay. Sven's farming ancients. Should be a free tower for us here. And just gonna hit the tower. We're not worried about fighting the void. Play another evasive maneuver. If he comes over, we can look to fight back if we have to, but minimal investment to pressure the tower. This naturally sets us up to walk back towards mid. We see a DD rune top. By clearing the wave like that, we give ourselves that extra like 10, 15 seconds to do exactly what we're doing here. Double damage rune mid should be a free tower. Our Zeus is coming back. Just a chill game. Just do the next right thing. We'll the see enemy's a Willow here. Has fallen. Oh, please. Oh, Give me a way. We'll take any kill we can get. Oh, Force out reactions? No, okay. Rinse and repeat. Got our blink. Push in the lane, wait for information. We see void bottom. I'm not really concerned about dying now. See which doctor coming top. Easy free tower. Push lanes better than the opponent. Force reactions go to a different lane. Very simple. The enemy's top tower has come. Which doctor's probably around here. Don't really want to fight him now because I just used my two spells. If he runs at me like he's a fucking god, he's probably got help. But he's probably at this rune right now alone. Yeah. Not ready. So just get solo kills on supports. We're perfectly fine with that. It'll take more than chance and chance. Check Sven. He's level 13. So we just run at the guy that wants to be farming. He doesn't want to fight us right now. It's going to be annoying. Okay. Can't kill him, so just make it so he doesn't farm. Maybe he even runs into our supports. Nope, he's gone. Just trying to corral him. That's like a corral move. Say, hey, that guy's not allowed to farm here. Get the fuck out. Probably gonna go Deso for the solo kill. Just keep giving myself clarities, because that's the problem Mars has is mana. We have a lot of wards around their triangle, so I'm inclined to naturally TP bottom. Push in the lane. Wait for my ultimate cooldown. We have no wards in their jungle, and since we don't see them bottom, they're likely in their jungle. So I'm actually going to TP mid. I can't ping. I don't mind showing mid in this, lane, in this bracket. I just want the front. Jug has an MKB is going up. Yep, so they're in their jungle. Naturally gonna fuck with Finn again. I'm not ready. Not killing him, just fucking with him. Okay, he wants to use his ult, that's fine. He's gonna die now, I don't know if he realizes. I'm gonna run back towards mid because we see Void top and Willow top and Centaur's dead. This guy's defenseless. Oh. 
Eh, we tried. Spirit. What, what spirit man are you? Want me to magically fabricate? Yeah. I was paying attention. Back off. Gonna w the brute boys. Go back to base because we need mana and health. And our TP is gonna be up soon. Invisibility. Uh, definitely seems like a Deso game, guys. We just need solo kill potential based on what we're looking at with our, with our team here. Your top tower is under attack. Give ourselves a couple clarities. We see mid lane pushing into our tower, so we naturally go there. Not ready. I'm not ready. Um, so at this point, Shadow Shaman's playing around their jungle. We see Sven Shadow Shaman. Jug's been playing super passively all game, so we just stick to pushing the waves because we're not capable of doing anything right now. Just keep pushing the wave. This guy almost has a Yule, or like a Yule. This guy has a Blink, so we gotta be careful of that. Affects our positioning. We did just see two heroes top, so it'd be very strange for them to have a bunch of heroes bottom. So any hero here is very naturally uh, alone. Just pushing waves. Gives us a lot of info. Run back towards mid. There's Finn. They might see us here based on the Don't way they've been playing. Jug almost has his MKB. Radiant yeah. structures oh, are fortified. I have those reversed. I feel like Chaz never ever seen a jug before. So, capitalize on our vision, got de warding it, we also see void top, we're gonna push this wave and look to go mid or top. Just be the same thing to this guy that we've been seeing earlier. Just being annoying, he doesn't kill me solo, so... I think he thinks he does. Your top tower is under attack. Actually, just force the void to go away. I assure you, my lane pushing has set up this fight. I'm running back towards the fight after forcing void out of top. Unfortunately, my team took it. Side to a Might be able to clip them here. Nah, spin mid. So there's Sven got an ultra kill. He doesn't have ult though, so he can still look to be strong. Sometimes you fuck up this. Feeding away. Nope. He backed off. That was a weird angle on my camera. So he's providing incredibly irrelevant Don't information. Just focus on pushing lanes when you feel powerless. Just push lanes. Working on a Yules. We need our BKB. We might actually not be able to carry this game. We'll see, though. Zeus has almost an X. We do need to go BKB, because we're not survivable in fights anymore. Our jug has no ulti. Uh, I think we have enough armor to actually take this. Your bottom tower is go, go, go. Yeah, team didn't want to go, huh? Your middle tower is under attack. Don't push me. Giving him vision as best I can. Okay, cool. Not ready. 
Push lanes while they're all dead. Run back to base because I don't have mana. What the fuck? Farm one camp on the way back. Eh, maybe two. Check our items. Master Man is MKB going ags. Almost an ags on him. Make our way back to base, so by the time the enemy team's alive, as well as by the time we have our ultimate again, we want to be able to fight. We pushed in the top wave to make this better. Didn't even realize we had a mango tree with how much we're talking. This guy's a Yules. Go and sell the bracer. This guy's no armor items. Can't ping. Because the there's a bug. <sighs> it's annoying I can't ping, but. Not ready! Just gonna clear this wave. This is something we don't want to deal with later. I'm gonna back off though. I'm gonna farm one more creep camp. Have to be careful, this is the dead lane area. I'm playing very safe. Top lane's pushed into us. My team looks like they want to rush, so we'll make our way there. Pushing in bottom earlier makes it so we can do stuff like this without having to worry about it. Gives us more information. Seems like the team sees. Gonna keep an eye out for that. When you have a lot of items, you still like one-shot people instead of worrying about the damage from still actually landing spells. Uh-oh. We've missed like every spell in these team fights. Oh, okay. Should be a free rush. Gonna go clear a wave because my team doesn't need me a rush. Pretty pretty bad team fight execution in this game. It's actually hard to play team fights with the if my team had needed me a Roche, I would have helped them. I actually checked that, so they didn't need me. See, this guy's going pure damage items. He should just die to my arena combo. The death is also a farming item because my W pretty much clears ways. I took Spearmar's damage because um, I'm more focused on the wave clear this game. I could have taken either, honestly. They're both reasonable. Yep, we're just pushing in mid or top. We see three mid now. Okay, that's fine. Just trying to scare his. If he gets him on. If you get him, I go. Just pushing in the way. Notice how pushing waves always creates good fights. Let my team push the tower because they don't need me. Go to push mid. The enemy's top tower has fallen. It's the blood up. Fill ourselves up. Ah shit. Well. Not well. ready. My team's pushing high ground while I'm clearing mid. Nobody saw the BKB usage. It was all for show. Don't push me. Going back to my team now. Dire structures are okay. Yeah, it's just fucking unfortunate. I thought the mangoes were gonna be delivered here. I try to got try to get fancy quick. Just gonna clear midway real quick. Your bottom tower is under attack. Your bottom tower is under attack. The enemy's middle tower wave. has fallen. Radiant structures are falling. Can I clear that real quick? Because we see two mid. We'll go back to the team. Not ready. Gonna go AC for the high ground. Don't push me! What can you do about that? The answer is absolutely nothing. Let's 
so you accept it. Can you count? Pushed out the wave so they won't get anything off of it other than the kill. Back off. I'll take that if she doesn't want it. I'm not ready. Uh, I'm gonna be starving a bit for mana, but that's okay. We'll make sure we use the mango tree. Blade mail looks like. Holy shit, BSJ is a god. Just solo kills. He's already going for a Z war. We're actually going to TP back to base to be ready for our jug. Pick up these uh, mangoes. Low cooldown ult, 60 seconds. Perfectly fine killing a support while my carry is dead. Zeus has those items. He should be buying a blink against Zeus or against Sven. Gonna run top, keep clearing waves. If my team wants to do something, it can be after I clear these waves. My Luna has legit done nothing this entire game. That's okay, that's life sometimes. Don't push me. We're gonna only use our W to clear waves because we have only have lads. So my team is poised to fight bottom, so I'm backing off top and taking bottom as soon as I can. My it's unfortunate. Your bottom tower is under attack. Your bottom tower has fallen. I need to be landing more spears. Always go push a wave instantly the second you see the enemy team group like this. Your bottom is under too. attack. Radiant structures are fortified. Fourth tower, keep pushing mid. Your We're just trying to minimize the objectives they get. They're gonna have to come back. He has Yules, so I have to blink away instantly. They're gonna naturally separate, so we can look for a good fight off this. Help me here? The problem is the Zeus isn't playing with me at all, so it's kind of hard. Assault Kuras. Hmm. Don't push me. Just play with me, Zeus, and they all die, man. I think I just need you around me. Double damage. Have you count? Just having more items in the opponent makes the game very easy. I honestly don't even care about the Willow. Just, uh, 
gonna push the way. I'm gonna protect the creep wave with my eight. to hit your spells and you just crit for 2,000 damage. Enemy's top barracks has fallen. Hit the void of the mask of Venice! Back off. Uh, I'd probably just go for an accent at this point. Okay, no, well, that's one laner axe. Void's behind. Just invade their triangle. Cut waves. See how you wrap up the game. Just cut waves. Don't have to go deal with this. You can just cut. Oh, this is doing it. It's fine. Just have to be more careful because he TP'd away. Gonna break smoke if they're coming this way. Looks like they're not. Blessings upon a loyal warrior. Oh, they're sitting in base, wasn't sure. Gonna push the wave again. Wait for my team to regroup. Looks like they're pushing bottom. Don't have any info though. So I don't want to play triangle because I have no wards. Looks like they have wards. I'm going to get myself an ag synthesis. Should be up, guys. Back off. Give me a sec. <laughs> Never go high ground before rush. No reason to. Notice how we just control the triangle until rush is back up. Now we're back into rush. I honestly should probably take Aegis, but for the sake of realisticness, I'll take the Chiefs. Make sure we have top and mid pushed. My team looks like they're going top. Nope, they're going neither. Okay, so I'll cut top real quick. Just one wave, then join with my team. All about the lane clearing. Okay. bottom zone. Eh, naturally we want to clear bottom too. Be patient, I'm gonna clear bottom and come right back. Not ready. Okay, we got all three lanes in. Very good. And my uh, Aegis Jug hit. Okay. 
Very far. Now we're in the game. Dire structures are fortified. The enemy's middle tower has fallen. He gets going on, I'll protect him, otherwise I'm gonna focus on the enemy game. So, this game is not meant to be a flex. It's not meant to be some... I'm way better than these fucks. They suck. I'll look at it as... I tried to give all of the indicators for why I'm doing what I'm doing. Why I'm rotating mid. Why I'm walking certain places. Why I'm pushing creep waves. Why I'm pulling a creep camp at 9 minutes when I have no ult and he has ult. Notice how I'm talking about the state of the game talking about am i avoiding fights am i taking fights i'm prioritizing creep waves i'm telling you why i'm prioritizing which waves i'm clearing and hopefully for you even though that game looked like a fucking nightmare like uh you know there's Sven pretty well free farming my jug fed two or three times i feel like from my perspective it just looks very easy like, it just looks like the game plays itself. And that's because my decision-making on the map is just far better than the people I'm playing against. And so the point of this video and the point of that game is to show you guys exactly what you can do to reliably win your games. I was off lane. I had literally the most useless four position in the history of Dota, who soaked all of my experience. And even though that happened, I played the game fundamentally sound, missed a bunch of abilities. Like, I did not play particularly well trying to talk to you guys. And the game still went smooth as fuck. And I just think it says so much about what it means to just play the map properly. And it's all about the questions I asked myself, all the reasoning I gave you guys for what I was doing. Um, whenever I gave you reasoning, you should look for a question that you could pose yourself that would give... Uh, you know, whatever, like, you know, do I want to fight right now? Do I want to push? Are we waiting for something? You know, all that kind of stuff. Um, so, yeah, hope you guys learned something there. Thanks for your account, question mark, sir.